wanted to give it even more time. Yeah, you have a lot of stores actually there. Yeah, 27 actually. How you can manage this? 1200, like $1,200. $1,200 per day? Yeah. Hello for me, Vitan. Uh, hello, Marianne. Hello. Uh, thanks that uh, you you accept my request to come here and to speak. Yeah, thank you for the invite. May I know how you start with the dropshipping business? When was uh, your first experience with the dropshipping? How you learn about that? What's your work before start this business? So it's kind of funny because I used to work for in a gas station and um, I got a call one day from a friend. He's a family friend. My all my my uncle knows him. It, I know him since forever. So he called me. He said, "I know that you're working at a gas station." And I told him, "Yeah, that's right." And he asked me, "Do you want to make some more money on the side?" And of course, I'm gonna accept because the payments I received were like I don't know if I should. If people are gonna understand, but it was 400 lifts a month. This is the minimum wage here, and that wasn't enough for nothing because I was 18. I just got out of school, and I needed money to like go get my own apartment, get my life together. And I accepted. I started working for him. I started listing items, and then because I'm that type of person, I like to like look into things. I, I want to know everything. And I learned everything pretty much just from working for him and I decided to start my own store. Uh, so when was this? Which year? It was Around uh, less than three hundred dollars currently in Bulgaria. Yeah, a lot less. Like it's two hundred fifty? Two eighty maybe. Two eighty no yeah, the door is not so big right yeah. now. You're working for $300, less than $300 per month. Yeah. Five years ago. Yeah, and the funny thing is I didn't um I didn't earn all of the money because um I didn't have n I didn't have anything. Like I was so broke <laughs> <laughs> and I smoke and I like energy drinks. So <laughs> what I used to do is like I hope my boss doesn't see this video. <laughs> but yeah, I used to like steal cigarettes from the gas station and Every day I I was at loss. Like you know, every day you have to like account for um for the fuel you sold, all the money you made for the day. Um, it's it was actually for the night because I used to work night shifts. Uh, night shifts? Yeah. Uh, how many hours you work? Per? Tw 12 hours a night. 12 hours a night. But yeah. uh, maybe you work two days and after that you have two days off? Yeah. You work two, two nights actually and then two nights off. What's the rate? Uh, 15 days by 20 hours. This is maybe uh, two, three hundred uh, hours for 400 lefts. Then you work for one dollar per hour? Yeah. Yeah. It's I, terrible. I guess it. and, uh, and no tips there actually. No, no. It's tips. gas station. Nothing at all. Uh, it, o only the salary. Yeah, only the salary and yeah. And because I didn't have any money, I used to take like cigarettes and not pay for them. <laughs> and so uh, when the time comes and I like when the boss comes to pay me, she like she paid me half the, the money. I um, half that two hundred dollars because I made so much losses just by taking cigarettes from the from the gas station without paying for them. Ah, uh, you pay them on the salary, actually. Yeah. You didn't steal them. No, I didn't you, steal you them. You take but them, but uh, when yeah. they made you revision. Yeah, you need to to return the money actually. Yeah, and she was she deducted them. She deducted the money I owed from my payment from my salary. Then you you work all month. For she nothing. come with the salary four hundred leva, but she count that you need to pay three hundred leva for the cigarettes and energy yeah. drinks, and uh, then you you return your salary in the gas station. In yeah, that time. absolutely. And, uh, that was pretty much I worked for free, like for a good three months. Uh, yeah, actually for a Red Bull. You work for <laughs> energy drink. Yeah. I remember my story with, uh, first time that I, that uh, I meet you actually. Yeah. My partners in Sofia, in the capital, um, they are programmers and okay. like me actually. But they they code the system. I'm just the the guy that uh, helped to to create the software, but I didn't write the code. And they are programmers, and they receive uh, a lot of tickets from the from support part and. Uh, most of the tickets was from you actually <laughs> with the, your your software don't work very well uh i, I talk about smpro.net 
it's uh, it's currently not supported actually because uh, we have too many projects right now. But one of my best friends, he will come today from Sofa actually. Vesco, do, do you oh, know yeah, Vesco? Yeah, I know him. Do you meet him on live? No, um, but I think he hates me. <laughs> no, no, he didn't hate you, man. Uh, just, just we have a lot of requests from you. And uh, Vesco called me one day and say, do you know that Marian live in your city? <laughs> and I say, no, I do not know this. And he say, and Marian have a lot of troubles again with our software. We didn't work with that. We have problems with the product, with updates, with the time of the update of the, he wants some new options to be right at there and a lot of things. And he say, I think that Marian is one young, very young guy that it's very short and skinny and <laughs> you can go and speak with him seriously. And I say, okay, I will speak with him. I will ask him where is the problem and we will try to fix them, all the problems. And I call you to drink a coffee. Yeah. And because Vesco said that, I was expecting to come one little boy, uh, skinny and not very tall and 187 and I was 85 kilograms. And wh- I was expecting some somebody to- very very short and not uh, very... And you come with your car and you go away and I watch like this. Uh, you was uh, 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 maybe 120, 110 kilograms, something like that. Yeah. And I say, okay, I will I will be not rude with this guy. I just will, I will ask him where is the problem and will go away. <laughs> and uh, that... Uh, That was my story about uh, my, my first meeting with you. But I understand that you have very serious business with the dropshipping, actually. Yep. Uh, and in your best days, how much orders you have per day in from dropshipping? Uh, you you dropship from Amazon to eBay. This is your yep. main model, actually. Yep. In your best days, how much orders you do per day, usually? Mm, 1,200, like $1,200. $1,200 per day? Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of orders and uh, currently how, how many stores you support with your partners? Currently 27 stores. 27? Yeah. And actually how, how you can move with 27 stores? Maybe you open them from different computers? From It's pretty easy actually. We, we, I have partners and each of them, every one of them has like five, and, five or six or four or eight stores in, on different computers with proxies with monitoring software like drop, Dropship Beast. You you use Dropship Beast? Yeah. And Lister Hero to list items. After you start, after you create new store, how much time you wait before you start using the software for repricing? How much time you use the, the store before start using the software? I need two months two to months. see if the store is gonna get suspended or if there's gonna be any issues. But yeah, two months. Also, I I sell at loss or at zero profit just to make sure I get sales because that's very important in the beginning. Great. Actually, where you sell? Which your market right now? Currently? Both. Both.com and Co. UK. But mainly? Mainly UK. UK is better, yeah? Yeah, it's be- a lot better now. Nowadays it's better. But why? Because the pound grow and dollar go last it's year or be- because uh, of the traffic, more traffic there? less amount of restrictions, which is the best uh, things in UK? The most important thing is um, the easy, um, it's easier to get into the new ma- managed payments that eBay are implementing. Yeah, we have Trick in Bulgaria, a very big community in Bulgaria, you yeah. know this, but I, I didn't have in English. And if somebody watch me here, if somebody watch me here because I have only 200 subscribers, yeah. Uh, this channel is pretty pretty old, but I didn't have uh, time to create videos and also I was shy because my English was not perfect. It's, well, it's, it's not, still not good, but it's m- not bad. May- maybe think on, maybe people understand what I what I try yeah. to say. If you understand me and un- yeah, answer me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> then uh, if you like my video and if you want to uh, receive a notification and uh, not YouTube to decide uh, what to watch, what to show you, You need to click subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. The bell is the thing that say to YouTube, this is important for me, please show me the new videos. If you have some questions to Marianne, you can uh, write the comments in the comments below and he will answer in some of the next videos. In Bulgaria, we have one trick about the new eBay stores. Uh, you can create the eBay store with the location Bulgaria and because 
Bulgaria is still not uh, the country with managed payment. It's same for uh, Romania, it's same yeah. for the other countries without managed payment 100% applied in the EB. They didn't ask you for any managed payment, then you can still use PayPal when you are with the address in Bulgaria. Your yeah, account is created with that. Yeah, but uh, it's a lot better to be on managed payments now because um, they have lower fees. It's a lot easier. But for the for the beginners, because uh, yeah, yeah. when when you are a beginner uh, and you, you still didn't have any LLC, you need to have documents for that LLC. You need yeah. to have a bank account. In, in USA, it's not possible to create bank account right now. You don't this, right? Yeah, I think Mercury can help with that. Mercury is not a vote by eBay, but uh, if you speak with the support and say that uh, you have a Mercury bank account, they ask you for a bank statement, a verified bank statement, and sometimes they allow this. Sometimes they say that th- this is not uh, allowed by their. It's 50-50 maybe, something Wh- like that. What about Payoneer? Uh, in, in the past... Uh, Payoneer was having an uh, option to create a uh, bank statement because they have a lot of partners, you know this, and they can create your account in different currencies and also in each c- currency they have ability to create your account in different banks like uh, Citibank, Bank of America and some other banks in, in USA. And they was having an agreement with Bank of America, but a few months ago, four or five m- months ago, Uh, they say that from now they will not open new new accounts in Bank of America. They they will stop uh, creating. Then if you have some working accounts, I, I was having five or six accounts in Bank of America in my Pioneer account. I can use them for eBay without any issue. But the after this change, you can use some other banks and uh, these banks are not allowed from eBay and they have restriction. And you You have only one option to go to USA, but now in that uh, not very good situation about the world, you know that it's not very, first, it's not very cheap. And second, it's not very smart to go to other side of the world. It will be nightmare, I think. Yeah. You will go with the mask in the bank. uh, Nobody know you. I I think that, I think that better option is to sell in Germany or in UK just because no, no issue with, with the, any payment processor that you want. Yeah, that's the main reason like why we use most of our stores are in are in the UK. But these that are in USA, how you manage them? Well, I pretty much ditch them as soon as they request me to like move them to managed payments. And what to do after that? I ditch them. I just stop working on them. You s- you stop the stores. Yeah. Because Then you don't have option also to move them in managed payments right now? Well, I I would have, but I, I'm gonna need a USA bank account. It's yeah, not gonna work with any virtual bank account. Then you have same problems like me. Yeah, absolutely. In the UK, when you start one new store, how much time take you to start get some profit from that store? A month or two. One or two months only? Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, but how you started? Because we We share our, our strategy in Bulgaria. I hope some of the people here don't know Bulgarian. Then try to share the experience how you start the product with new products. Well, you look what sell, you search for what's already selling and you pretty much list the same item but list it at a, at a lower price. You would need to search for other dropshippers, look at what they're selling, look at what's successfully selling, list the same item but just cheaper. Do you use some software about that? In the beginning, no. Uh, after that? After Zik Analytics, that? maybe? Oh, yeah, Zik. Zik Analytics, right? Yeah. I will put the link below in this video about uh, the Dropship Beast, uh, Lister Hero, Zik Analytics. And if you want to ask something, you can put it in, in the comments below. If you want to receive a free consultation with me or with Marian and to ask about something more important, you can use the my email address, uh, you can read it here. It's uh, support at smpro.net. Actually, I'm very busy actually last few years, but I will try to uh, reply to every email that I receive. And maybe with some of you, I can do some free consultation just to train my English and to help too. It's free, of course it's free. 
then you have a lot of stores in UK and do you have some problems with, with this, these stores? Uh, do you have troubles? eBay stop you or restrict you or something like that? No, in UK, nothing. No problems. No problems in yeah. UK. Uh, actually, when I start my course Zero to Success, in the beginning, I, I teach the people that they need to start in USA market. But uh, last year, because of the changes, because of the managed payment, because of the restrictions, the problems with the virus and everything else, a lot of information uh, from uh, sellers in UK, in Germany. Actually, most of the sellers are moved in UK. Yeah. And maybe uh, it's it's better and I start uh, just, I decide to uh, give advices to all my clients just to move to UK also, like you. Yeah, that's the best option. The best option. It's mainly because of managed payments. Because you're gonna need a US bank account and it's hard to like obtain it if you're not in the US, if you're not a US citizen. And in the UK, you can work with TransferWise, Revolut, um, I don't know, Moniz, Monzo, it's still gonna work. I understand that uh, TransferWise and Moniz do some troubles with the sellers last uh, months. Yeah, they're, they do checks, but yeah, we went through the check of, from TransferWise. They shut my account down, but yeah, I was able to like reinstate it. You can reinstate so that, right? Yeah, it's back to normal now. What about the dropshipping in your own store? You mean my website? Yeah, wh what you can say about that? Uh, how you sell, how you find items, what's the niche of that store? Mm, the store is a general store. I sell everything from mainly from AliExpress and also I have a private supplier, but for beginners, I recommend eBay to start on eBay just to learn the basics, the, the fundamentals of dropshipping as a whole. So, yeah, and um, for my own store, I sell with Google shopping ads, but it's kind of hard in the beginning and I'm still learning, so I can't say too much about it. How much how much time you you doing this with the own store? Actually? Six months now. Six months only? Yeah. How much uh, is the percent profit from that store average or something? Yeah, the profit is the profit is a lot bigger than eBay, but most of the profit goes for the the, the ad costs. You gotta pay ads, and um, last month I made like two thousand dollars maybe from sales, but most of that money had to go like to pay the to pay the ad costs. Okay, so then. not much left. Then it's not a profit. If you, if you pay that. Yeah. If you have $2,500, uh, but you, you spend 2000 of them for ads, this is not a clean profit. Yeah. Then what's the niche of your store? It's general. General? Yeah. I think that this is the problem. Yeah, I, I also think that. Do you use uh, funnels? No. Okay. Mainly email marketing can... Google Shopping ads, that's pretty much it. But uh, if we do dropshipping from uh, AliExpress, you use AliExpress, right? Yeah. For a subscribe. Okay, if you use AliExpress, you maybe don't have a big, uh, big conversion from email marketing. You don't have many return customers. I have return customers, but very, very rare. Not like maybe one, one in a, in a hundred, maybe. I think that if you if you have uh, faster shipping and better price, if you have stock in USA, you will have a lot of return customers. Yeah, some of my items are shipped from eBay, actually, like from the USA. And um, on those items, I noticed all of my return customers are from those items because they ship faster, they get to the customer faster. So I think that's a thing also, a very important one. Okay, Marianne, uh, do you think that uh, actually, do you use another suppliers, not eBay and AliExpress? Some? Yeah, I have a private supplier. Private? She, yeah, a girl from China. How how you find this one? In Facebook, in the groups. And uh, what's the? How you pay to that supplier? Mainly, she creates a VIP link in AliExpress, and I pay through AliExpress. It's just like paying for an item on AliExpress, but it's a link that she created, and I pay her from that link. Okay, then uh, you pay the fees, right? Yeah, I cover everything. Wh what's the shipping uh, time from that supplier to it, your location? To it your varies. Thing? It depends on... Because she works with a lot of warehouses in China and in the USA, so 
it's pretty much different. It go it goes down to what the warehouse has to offer. Like one one warehouse can ship the item and have it delivered in 10 days, the other can deliver the item in 20 days. It depends. Okay, but do you have an option to use faster shipping service? Well, yeah. It's but it still depends if um the item has it available. If AliExpress if the item on AliExpress has that shipping option. Okay. Or if the private supplier can find a supplier that can ship with a faster uh, shipping method. Uh, but the private supplier will find the supplier then. This yeah. means that they didn't have the items yeah. in stock? Yeah. They collect them from you, uh, for you, from yeah. another place. They find the best offers, the best shipping speeds and all that stuff. They do pretty much they do your job. Uh, maybe they use some sites like 1866.com yeah, uh, that yeah, I also think with, that. with China offers and yeah, uh, it's useful. Okay, what, what's your pl- platform, favorite platform? WooCommerce. Yeah, what you, you mean? Um, yeah, eBay? yeah, this is my question actually. Uh, I prefer uh, eBay, to be honest. Uh, about the website, about the website. Oh. Which platform is better? WooCommerce. But why you didn't use uh, Shopify? Do you ever tried yeah i tried shopify but it's a lot more expensive like everything that's for free on woocommerce you have to pay for it in in shopify i think that uh, shopify is much more expensive yes because you need to pay hosting when you use woocommerce yeah but uh, you can take a hosting for five ten dollars per month yeah but you also have woocommerce and shopify have their pros and cons because um In Shopify, the server part is a lot better because you have better connection, better loading speeds, and all that stuff. But on in WooCommerce, you don't like you have to take care of the server part for uh, yourself. Like, in order to get the page to load in three seconds for the customer, you have to do all this coding, all this optimization. And on Shopify, they already have it covered. To pay. Um monthly fees in Shopify, you also need yeah. to pay extra 2% if you are on the f- plan for the beginner, you pay $30 per month and you pay extra 2% fees. Yeah. Most of the sellers do around uh, 1000, 1500 per day sales. Yeah. And if you made 50,000 monthly, they take from you 1000 extra money because <coughs> you use their service. Yeah. And also you pay for the plugins, you pay for the plan, you pay for everything. And in the end, you pay a lot of money that you can spend for your business. Yeah. This is the reason that I didn't like Shopify. Maybe the other reason is that I can do some of the changes of my website myself. Yeah, me too. Most of the people didn't know how to program the things. But uh, I think that if you are serious, you can pay to some programmer 100 or 200 bucks to... Yeah, you can go on Fiverr, find a developer, he can do the job. Like, you can't be an expert in everything. Like, there's people for everything. You can pay somebody, he's gonna do the job for you. Yeah, but but in our country, most of the people try to do everything they, their self, without. Well, <laughs> from where you learn how to sell on your own website? I bought a course from a girl. You buy the course? Yeah. And what you learn from that? Pretty much just google shopping ads and she, she explained how to create the website but the for the most part i learned most of the things myself not from her course that's why i don't want to mention her because i, I don't want to mislead anyone so i'm not really happy with the course but yeah it still gives you like a a, a jump start do you know, uh, when I start my course in Bulgaria about the dropshipping Zero to Success, uh, I started for free and I have it translated in English also. Most of the things without the seminars, seminars are only in Bulgaria. But uh, when I started, I started for free and I, I see one and, and with seminars also, the last seminars are paid, but first one was free. And when somebody come to the seminar for free or get the course for free, he didn't start most of the time when people don't pay they don't have attention yeah. about that yeah and I, I think that if you buy the course because you are serious you can find same information in youtube uh, to take some free book or something some other places if you buy the course or buy the book or pay for that you pay and you take attention about that because uh, what was the price about the course 
It was six six hundred dollars. Six hundred. When you pay yeah. six hundred dollars, uh, it's it's normal to watch all course and. Uh, yeah, you're invested in it. You you appreciate it because you you already paid for it. So. Yeah, if if I buy this course and share it with you, you will not have same attention yeah. about that. I remember that story. That uh, the course was not movies. That it was a PDF file. Yeah, it was just a PDF file and uh, screenshots. And I, I was very surprised and say, why you pay six hundred dollars for a PDF file? And you say, yeah, but she really know what she actually should do. Yeah. By the way, um, I had a partner that we used to work on eBay together, and he recommended this course to me, and um, I expected it to be a lot better, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I paid for a couple of PDF files. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> you didn't know that before, pay? No, he just said buy this course. Um, you're gonna learn how to sell on your own website, and I just went and went ahead and paid for the course, not knowing it was PDFs. He didn't tell me it was PDFs. He uh, just told me I bought this course. I have some good results. He shared his results with me, so I believed him, and I bought the course. I'm not saying the course is completely trash, but yeah, it could. For six six hundred dollars, it could be better, right? Yeah, it should be better. You're paying like six hundred dollars. It's <laughs> yeah, but it's not scam. You actually no. receive okay, but um, uh, okay. How you pay something uh, like with recommendation with recommendation of your friends? How you paid? Did you use some um, landing page with you will learn this or that? Like like in my course, when somebody opened the page, he see that he will receive consultation, access to the group. A software. He will receive my videos in the platform that I create for the education. Yeah. Do you have some? No. No. How nothing. you pay that? Just by trusting my friend. Like. But but how you pay to this girl? Um, pay- PayPal. PayPal. Yeah. She I say found- send me money here and I will get yeah. you. I found her on Facebook and he had it. Huh. He had her in um, his friends list and he said I I I've communicated with this girl. She knows she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> so I pretty much just by trusting him, I decided to pay the money for the course. Okay, and she didn't research anything. She didn't have yeah. any videos. No, she nothing. sell the course without any videos. She had two videos in the course actually, and that was just um, researching for items because she couldn't show them by screenshots like most of the information. Oh, awesome, and. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm very surprised actually yeah. about that. It was the funniest story that you have, uh, a, a, or the the most strange story with the sale that you have in eBay, or you remember in eBay at all? I know that you have a lot of clients. Yeah, as you say, one thousand per day yeah. when you have picks. Do you remember some very interesting story to share with the people yeah. here? This is there is this one story I, um, I'm never gonna forget. Um, uh, I had this. It's actually the same guy I started working for um, when I started learning dropshipping on eBay. He had um, this item. It was a how do you call it? It's a box for CDs, okay. a CD container, and um, he had he had them run out of stock on Amazon. And uh, we used to use your software SM Pro, and you know that option where when an item goes out of stock, you can have you the software can raise the price up. It can multiply multiply the price. So yeah, this this was before uh, eBay to put the option uh, good till cancel to yeah. have ability to go to zero. Yeah, yeah, and and um, the software raised the price to the point where uh, one of these cost like five thousand dollars. And um, one night, as we were speaking on Skype, he said I received the sale, and it was he sold two each one for five thousand dollars. It, that's a total sale of ten thousand dollars just for these CD boxes. Then he made two sales, two sales for ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. And, and so he started right away. He searched for the same item on Amazon. He found it for five dollars. Sent it to the customer. Uploaded his tracking number, and got that ten ten thousand dollars at profit. Uh, but uh, the customer didn't uh, open the case. I think he did, but since he sent the item. He delivered the item. He had screenshots and images of the item being delivered. But he, he won the case. But he can return the item. I know that story. But well, yeah. But they close it in the flavor of the. Ah, I remember this this story. Uh, they close it uh, to the he, buyer flavor, but uh, they return the money uh, because of the seller protection program. Then, yeah. Then, because he delivered the item, in the, but yeah. this was because the case was uh, open, not right. Because in 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 normal case, you need to 
receive the return and buyer yeah. can return the item but it was but something like uh, they steal my account or something like that yeah, the, uh, or the, the reason the customer like instead of opening a return request he opened the item not received request and they they returned the money for to the customer but uh, my friend he kept his money like ebay covered the losses about the drop shipping in ebay then do you do you think that it has some uh, good future yeah it has a bright future and um Because of this managed payments thing, I think that dropshipping will never die on eBay. And also one reason I think it will never die is because ever since I started, everyone is saying that dropshipping is dead. Yeah. Like for six years. I started six years ago also. Yeah. Maybe seven. Uh, yeah, one year before you. Yeah. And when I start, everybody... Do you know how I start actually? No. Boris Gichev, you know it? Yeah. I meet him. And he say we resell from Walmart. You can join. Uh, I was uh, supporting the biggest barbecue and biggest uh, wristband websites in the world. I was programmer there. there. Yeah. We was they was having their USA, but uh, they are located in USA. They have manufacturer in China, also manufacture in USA, but they have um, they was having at that time a local office in Bulgaria, and I was working here in Shumen for them from the office locally. And I say to Gichev, I am programmer when we meet first time. And he say, hey, we need uh, programmers to help us to support. We need to create some websites and we drop ship from Walmart. And I say, okay, it's not a problem for me. And I start working to help them and support. And one day he say, I need new sellers in eBay. You do you want to help? And I say, okay, it's not a problem. And we actually resell items from Walmart to eBay, but he finds some discount like a gift card or something like that and he say why you don't help me with the seller thing i will give a 20 percent from the sales and i say okay i will help you and i start in ebay actually and work 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 maybe two three months and it was not having any software in that and i say gitchef asked me do you have ability to create some table just in the morning to see to show me only the products that change the price you mean a, a spreadsheet table on yeah Google but Sheets? but programmer pro, pro, programming tool that uh, show you only oh, the items yeah. that change because we was working with the excel file yeah and we just connect one excel uh, one generated similar to excel that check the price in the walmart and if the price is changed the last 24 hours just to put it in the top to arrange them by changing time and to fill this item change the price from this to this yeah yeah a and monitoring software yeah and this this actually this is the born of the smpro.net yeah. and everybody say oh sell me this table please i want to use it and after that can we change the price can we change the stock can we change the title can we change this i i need login can i put the associates there yeah. and it was a whole platform in a few years <laughs> later and this is uh the beginning after that we find uh, ds domination course do you remember yeah, this I, know them. i was thinking to start a resale from amazon to ebay and i was thinking actually i i never shared this story in bulgarian i say okay i will try this and First, I want to ask somebody because Gichev says, ah, it's not possible, man. How you resell something from Amazon to well, it's, it's cheaper. It, yeah, in, yeah. In, in eBay, it's not possible because it's very expensive already in Amazon. And I start asking and I find one friend that have one friend, his friend that sell in eBay. And I go and ask him, okay, uh, very excited. I find this course. I want to start sell in eBay. And he say, no, no, man, don't lost your time. It's not possible because the price are not good. And I say, okay, but I'm stupid at all. And I say, I will find another person that will validate my idea. And I ask another person and he say, same. And I ask five, six, seven people and nobody from these guys that I find, this was years ago, six, seven years ago in Bulgaria, nobody say it's working. And I say, okay, I don't care. I will try. And I put some items from Amazon in, in eBay. That's the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wake up at the morning and see some sales. And we start integrating the Amazon in SM Pro. We start working on that and to creating a software. I start sales in the Amazon. And this is the reason I just start. But everybody say it's Don't. not possible in the beginning. And after I start, everybody starts saying, 
Uh, it's temporary, man. They will stop you very soon. You will stop. And this is from seven years, actually. They yeah. are waiting to stop. Yeah. <laughs> we finally, we have, currently we have uh, four softwares. I help for Dropship Beast. We work for, uh, we was having, uh, creating Dalio, SM Pro, Lister Hero, Out Order Hero is not supported and SM Pro is not supported. And I have five platforms about that. Four and uh, the fifth one, I helped them with uh, some ideas. Yeah, eBay is dying from six years. Seven, maybe Seven. 10, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, then you think that uh, dropshipping will be will continue growing in the future? Yeah, definitely. Okay, do you think to start some business in Amazon FBA or something like that? In- Currently not. I'm, I just want to focus more on eBay and give it more t- even more time. Yeah, I'm, you- al- I'm already giving it my full time, but I wanted to give it even more time. Yeah, you have a lot of stores actually there. Yeah, 27 actually. How you can manage this? Partners, people I work with. I can't manage them myself because <laughs> 27 stores. Yeah, it's it's, it's cool. a lot of work. It's a single person, I think, can manage up to five stores, no more. It depends from the how big they are, actually. Yeah. I remember when I was having an office in, in here in Bulgaria in the past. Yeah. My workers was locally here. It's not like to have people in India like now. Yeah. And uh, when I started my first Christmas and sales started growing. But in Bulgaria, after 24th of December to the yeah. 2nd of January, nobody worked. Yeah. And I say, I, I don't care. I will not stop my stores. And say to my people here, there was five people here to working. And I say, okay, you are holiday. I understand that you need to rest. Go to, to rest. I will c- cover you. Wow. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning with uh, 100 sales. And I say, okay, it's no, not a problem. Three hours two, three hours, because it was not having so good software like Dropship Beast, help to the orders, yeah. copy and paste addresses, everything that you need. He just put the right addresses, right products in the... Yeah, c- he do everything. Uh, it's semi-out order, you know, that yeah. we have fully automated out orders now. But but at this time, I, I didn't have an option to do this. And I wake up with a hundred orders. Oh, it's not a problem. It's Saturday. Um, start doing this i think i even remember it three three four hours and in three four hours you get another hundred sales yeah yeah <laughs> i just place them and i just click refresh check another sales 50 60 sales i start doing this after this i am finished and i say okay i will go to eat something go inside uh, something go back on the computer 20 minutes later click refresh 100 new orders oh fuck that and i start <laughs> placing this again and again and again and Three days after that, eBay give me very good flavor. They stop my account. They say, you grow too fast. Yeah. We will temporarily restrict your sales for one week. And I say, oh, they are crazy. I can do everything myself. Why they stop my store? This was my first yeah. suspension, actually, temporary. After five, six, seven hours, I serve my orders and the day after the first day after the restriction, I was having 10 cases about the waiting delivery. Some of the clients start saying, where's my item? I waited I waited this item for a Christmas, for a gift for my yeah. uh, little boy. And I say, oh, I will return your money because I see that Amazon was having uh, troubles with the delivery at this time. Yeah. If eBay was not doing this step at this time, they will stop my store a week later because I will lost uh, control of the debt. Yeah, they they have good metrics and they also sometimes also know when they stop you. It, it's for a reason. It's everything. Every time is for a reason, or most of the time. Yeah, they don't just stop you because they feel like it. They, they have to stop you. They just know that if you, if they didn't stop you, it have big chance to fall. Yeah. Just to not have a time to place the orders or to send them to the clients to do good customer support or to deliver them on time. And I was having a lot of cases uh, this week. Uh, from people that are angry because they purchased the item two days before Christmas and they're waiting to receive them on Christmas, but you have delays about the holidays. Uh, yeah. And and I say, I will give you the $20 compensation. Sorry about that. And the clients say very often, uh, say this to my boy. He wait for a bicycle. You want to give him a 20 bucks, but he need bicycle, man. I don't care about your 20 bucks. You yeah. you, you broke the Christmas for my children. Uh, and this is the problem. And we need to do this slowly. We need to think about that. We need to have experience to... It's some complex thing. It's, it's not something that you can do for uh, 
uh, to start and to rise and to do good business after one month. It's it's not possible. Yeah, you can do anything, you, all the things yourself. You always need people to help you, especially when you grow, when you start scaling. And that's the reason you got your account like restricted. And that's a good thing as well, because at least you didn't lose the account. At least it was temporary because they know eBay are smart. They are a billion dollar billion dollar company. They can sense when you're you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to manage to keep up with all the orders. Yeah, you are totally right. Okay, thank you that you was my guest today. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me. I hope you you can come here in the future also. Yeah, if the people like what we share with them, I no really problem. hope if if they like it, if they like it, just uh, if you like it, just comment below, ask something Marianne or you can uh, find us on the email support at smpro.net or just just it's very important for the algorithm if you want you can subscribe and click the bell to receive notification for our next videos it's it's very important for me to support me to start growing and to receive more free information we can do some practice videos in future maybe um, I, I'm sure in that and thanks for watching thank you thank you too Thank you.